resilience and these guys as uh, as troublesome as their path has been this year they've had some big highs as well as some low lows and so og coming in on the t side where they're probably going to want to start in a map like this well, let's see what they got to the table it's going to be og favored on those gg battle odds low lows and some no no's here comes rain with a very aggressive mid positioning to start off this this third map mbk is going to see him so the element of surprise is lost, but Rain just holds tight. Nests himself at the top of middle. Oh, I thought they were going to try and hunt him down because two left B, but instead they just group back and spawn. Where do FaZe want to lean? Three on that B bomb side right now. If you're counting Rain. Now they're playing retake on A, but Olaf has the kit on the B bomb site. So that's fine for FaZe. You can afford to do this. OG setting up for a full execute. Alexi B, what's he throwing in? He's got a smoke. And a flash. That's going to be the top con smoke. I like this play. And just popping his team into A, trying to get a plant. FaZe will allow this bomb plant, but how many will they take down before it comes through? Kiebi with one. And with CT open, it's very difficult to get a bomb plant that isn't going to be the reverse triple. That's all that's available. And there it is for OG. Numbers planted in. And now they've got to pick post plants. Yeah, how are they going to approach this rain? He might have to drop on Valde here. Cold Zera finds him first. KRB gets one of his own. Issa with two taps. Nice stuff. He's able to get, you know, some sort of footing in this ground. Oh. And two left in a real rough position there in jungle. So first round will go the way of phase. And it's like we all said, Harry. Do I need to finish the sentence or no? No, I don't think you do, Trace. Everyone knows that you play both sides, so then you never lose. Only on the weekends, buddy. Yeah. Well, look at that, man. Pistol round for FaZe. I love the way they approach that one. Kirby in towards CT as one of the only players at that A site. And he takes down the first, and immediately FaZe are like, well, you know, we were kind of set up to retake A anyway, and a five on four is pretty good odds. So let's just play back in CT, wait for that bomb to attempt to go down, and then move in together. And that's exactly what they do. OG get dismantled. But now they come in with a force by of their own on this T side, immediately looking to up the pace, up the stakes in this second round. Oh, B fake, you see. Alexia throwing utility in as Valdi goes out lower. It's not going to really do much. Going to keep two at B for FaZe with Brokey in the ladder. Oh, they could try and pinch him from this position, but hasn't seen him just yet. It's Brokey, no, no. But now Valdi's ready. Oh, it's a bit of a mess. Yeah, I think Brokey said, you know what? I had enough. I'm not going to play this cat and mouse game with you. They boost Alexi up. No, excuse me. They boost Valde up. And he can peer in a jungle from here. Airby likely unspecting of this angle. It is pretty ratty, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, what must suck for observers is when someone boosts, the number that you see on the minimap is always the player on the bottom. So we see nine, and that's Alexi. But it's Valdi on top. And so you got to, like, wait, who's... Wait, check all the other numbers. What can I not see? Uh, Jakey's got it under control. As FaZe doing the window for now, Brokey getting chased, but he's got support from Kierby, who will find that kill doubling down as OG split into this A site. They've lost their mid players. It's just down to Ramp and Palace, and Rain swinging in with the Famas. Oh boy, doubling it up. And MBK now in a one on five, not going to be able to get more than a single kill. It's going to be FaZe on the board nice and early with two, and OG with an eco still. Yeah, and I, I don't know. If I've ever seen a FAMAS be more satisfying than in Rain's hands right there. It's rare to see that gun get more than one. I just wish Valve would bring back just how lethal the burst was. I mean, it's even atrocious on the Glock, right? So, please. Operation 10 will do too, but... Patience is what you need. Especially in this game. That's exactly what OG are showing. Just waiting at the top of middle, at the back of B. I like the mid presence that FaZe set early on. Rain had pushed up there on the pistol round and, well, you might get out in front of it and take mid early, make a statement. Just go ahead and cut off that idea that perhaps OG could find themselves in middle and utilize it. Well, off about to have a party over at B. Here we go. Drops a smoke. That's going to be his exit strategy. He repeaks. He repeers back up there. No one's home, but they are. They're just hiding. Ah. 
And there's the info for Olaf. That's going to be the rotations back in now for Cold to help him out. And this should get mopped up. There was like a timing where maybe the pistols could have gotten a little bit close, a little too close for comfort. But thanks to Olaf getting the information early, the rotates are there on time. 3-0 and for FaZe. And now we've got that buy round coming in for OG. AK's out. Could even see the AWP on Mantu. And he would have armor behind it as well. So that's uh, nice to see that gets bought out right away. Bro, keep donning his as well over on the CT side. So when this, this rifle round comes in, we immediately get to see that AWP head to head. Yeah, OG looking to take bad that mid control though. Ollie and Con, uh, no one rushing it. They know the phase of like to take mid, so they're just going to hold on with the orb. How would they patrolling be on this default and Isra outside of the A ramp? Run boost for Mantu. Nothing to be seen, bro. He's on cap with the orb. Not too aggressive. Rain, very good position for either retaking A from behind or coming in on a flank, but he's not rushing. He's not moving too aggro, and that's good because this is still waiting in spawn with a bomb, keeping his eyes on things. Could eventually group with his team. Oh, forgot the bomb. There it is. Looking like a B split here from the catwalk. Smoking con and window sets him up. Brokey needs to have his wits about him. Close Molotov drop, not on the chair instead. As he backs up into B, the call has been made. And they seem to know what's going on right now with three towards this site. Cold has never been spotted in this position up in ladder. And they're not even considering it. MBK has nades out, walking into Cold, who has a chance to back up or just go in for more. Mantu eats a nade and Cold finishes the job. It's a three on three now as Issa gets a B pick and in OG go. Oh, missed shot from Brokey. He's uh, dropping into the site with this bomb. Now OG are committed. They have to get the rest of the team here to help out. This bomb not given a chance to go down yet, and Brokey still hidden at the bench. Issa trying to clear him out, but that's the bomb dropped over. And Valdet with 12 seconds in a 1v2. If he deals with Brokey, maybe there's a chance. That bomb oh. finds itself there. Brokey recovers. Two in the round and four on the board. Phase continue. This good CT side starts, showing no signs of slowing down just yet. The patience with an AWP. Pretty scary, all things considered. Yes. Yes, Alexi V. I feel your pain. I understand it. But this is on you to figure out. Now, that's an interesting character in terms of leadership of this OG squad, you know? Been hearing more and more of the comms and you know what they're capable of and how he's directing the flow over there managing you know crisis amidst chaos i hate to cut you off but can we see t-spawn they've just thrown two smokes out of t-spawn that missed and both landed back in spawn how has that happened oh gee yeah they try and throw i guess window or top mid smokes and both of them miss i've never seen that in my entire life not one, but two. I guess this is the smoke that they can't know it. It's a flash for sure. So, yeah, I don't know. But that entire round, whatever the plan was for OG, just fell apart immediately. How, uh, what, what possible smoke could you be throwing in spawn that misses and lands in spawn? Two of them at that. Yeah, two of them. Must be a hard smoke. We're going to keep our eyes on that moving forward. Yeah, big grenade lands at the feet of these OG players. They aggress out the A ramp. Rain. Making it do just that from top ticket. Not a whole lot of expectations here. Tech nines are going to have to do something miraculous. Or just this as Deagle. Three on four. Bomb plant. So that's good for OG. Nissa on another kill with this Deag. Now, is he going to be the tide changer? No. It's now left in Valdez's hands. Three on one with the bomb planted. Very good position, given the weaponry, but the bait peak for Valde. Oh, if he swung on that one, maybe he has Brokey looking the wrong way, but the bait gives his position away, and Brokey just scopes up for the quick kill. 5-0 for FaZe. Great start to this map. Obviously, only an eco for OG with some techs. Now, the money from the plant allows everything they need and more. Have one long series, and OG don't want to go out with a whimper after showing some great face back on Dust2, and a competitive one on Inferno as well. 
It's open season. On to V Brokey. It's been enjoyable this series so far. Perhaps this round will deliver a little bit of the same. Now that mid control would have came into play, but the Molotovs are going to be there, and it's going to be a spray from K or B in the connector. So far, so good for FaZe. Alexi's very deep in B as well. Olaf's looking at the smoke, but he doesn't know how far Alexi's gotten. Not going to make a move, and as he does, Brokey comes in on rotation anyway. Alexi gets spotted. He knows that Olaf is here too. Oh, yeah. That would be caught in Nathan hand, and Brokey swings. Wasn't ready for him there. Was window to start it out, and Reigns pushed the palace to clear out A. Obviously, a bit of a gamble. You never know if Ramp has enemies in, but this is a good call for FaZe, who's stacked towards his B bomb site. Can be second guessing and hanging on to the window just in case, but at this point, in a two on four, OG are just both crunching B. And if they don't go soon, then Rain will get that backstab in play. OG can't wait forever. Yeah, and the mid presence early on in the round is something OG have in their pocket. It's going to leave Rain a little bit weary. He takes a gander at it. He's got to be the B site at this point. 30 seconds on the clock. MBK starting to edge his way out. Nobody's going to be really giving him a fight, though. Brokey will be watching the plane. And MBK is just going to slide right into his crosshairs yet again. Mantu, nice trade, but all in vain, ultimately. Olaf Meister comes in with the last one. Six to zero phase. Currently running the show. Another buy going to come out for OG. I'm liking the movements we're seeing from FaZe on the CT side. Rain has a lot of faith in his B-hold there on his team, so he actually doesn't even flank B. He sets up in mid in case they duck down lower and take A. Remember, there was no one on that A site. And uh, and yeah, the, this is, these are moves that like OG don't even really know about. They haven't seen Rain flank, and he's done this two or three times now. OG just don't have that info. So yeah, FaZe have had a lot of good calls so far in this CT half. Holding the ladder has been a nuisance. Step on Cat this time. Brokey's taking the orb towards CT. That's a good call, because OG not only don't have an orb, but are setting up for an A-take. Well, <laughs> here. Doesn't even seem fair. Ooh, Kebby. They're very deep. Oh, okay. Rain, not mollied out. The Molly was on top of the palace. He's able to save his teammate's life. He does get traded through the floor. But a four on three with a mid lurk. It's all on Alexi to get something done in this position. Oh, Mantu, nice. oh. that's a nice little peek there to rid them of Kirby. And a missed shot from Brokey gives that bomb a chance to go down. Now a three on three. Mantu still in the sight, but Olaf quick on the trigger. Down in mid is Alexa B, but he's spotted by Cold. Still comes out on top. And so now has this mid flank in. Olaf and Brokey in the sight. Smoke on the bomb. They tap it to try and bait a peek on in. And there it oh. is. Issa out from the palace. Not quite the killing blow that needed to be dealt. And it falls to Brokey in the 1v1. Not going to get on the bomb yet. Bringing the attention oh. in from Alexi, but not quite able to find him. Tapping it once more. And Alexi oh. going wide. Brokey with the clutch. Wow. As he puts up all the kills needed. Phase on to seven. He keeps that flawless streak in check. And OG yet to put a round up on the board. That was their closest one yet. So close. Unbelievably close. Look at some of these shots here from Mantu. Brokey has been on fire in Fuego. That's one of the scary things about this phase squad, right? Is there's so many good clutch players on this team. You know, like Brokey, I think, was the one, especially while Nico was in, that, that everyone learned to fear in these clutch scenarios. But even then, Kirby's had some great moments like it, and he's someone who's only started to look better and better in clutches. Then, of course, Cold kind of goes without mentioning, right? Is, is a very, very dependable player in those kind of moments. So it is very, very scary. Like, even when you are into 2v1s or 3v1s, you're always hesitant when you're up against this phase squad. 
Something else that's a little bit worrying is like you think about Mirage and its tenure for the FaZe Clan. Well, even when Nico was in, this was actually one of the pretty good maps for them, right? And even when we saw them play it black, back at Blast in, in the sense that, you know, they go versus big in complexity there, these were close matches as well for FaZe. So this is a map that they've looked good on and one that, as we see right now, you know, they're not to be underestimated on. Rain with the lineup and oh, dearie me. How does he get out? How on earth? There's two ramp players. Just skirts on back. Alexi goes through a con smoke and so far three kills all in favor of FaZe. OG just walking to their death. Rain pushing Palace again. And OG haven't seen it once. So why would they expect this here? He's not going to go any further. If he did, it's two free kills. Look at them. But regardless, it's still a great position. And it can even let his team back out of A. Yeah, that's not the only thing OG hasn't seen in this round. A bomb site. Seeming few and far between. They just get shut down on a ramp behind a smoke, nonetheless. Now they've reverted. This and Manthu are going to try to walk all the way into B. Olaf will be able to buy some time with the smoke. And that's exactly what he's banking on. Then breaking the plane and drops the smoke. Yep, that's enough. Well, good luck. Ooh. You really don't like that Olaf's there. That's so annoying as well. It's not like he even took the fight. He could have. He could have just died there, and it wouldn't have really been a problem. Face would have still had four on two on a retake, but yeah, it drops a smoke. Goes, nah, you, you can't come B. Nah, sorry, nice shot for man two, but twenty seconds. You got to go. You got to run if you're OG. And where are they taking it? Bomb to the connector. Brokey in the A site. He has been unbeatable, and that continues. Flash back in for another peek. Issa, blind and out of time, might just want to die. And Rain, Brokey, one of these players will offer that up swiftly, I'm sure. There it is. Rain coming in with a swing. And three for him as well. 8 0 for FaZe Clan. This is unreal. Yeah, they've got every answer in the book currently. OG just trying to throw the book. Can't seem to do that. Rain, look at him go. Tears him in half. Tears him a new one on their aggression into the A site. <laughs> oh, dear. Those are the fan cams, by the way. IM.gg slash fan cam. Type it in your browser. It'll open Discord. You'll just follow the, follow the prompts. You know how this goes. That's for a B play for OG. Yeah, smoke's out on the B site. They're going to put one in the window, one in the door. Isolating market from the rest of the site. Now, Alexi B having shot his tech nine from the top of stairs. We'll try to get a little map control here on the back lines. Ooh. Look at this, though. A reroute, an audible. This is weird. They're doubling back into A, but Rain actually stayed at the A site because he saw Alexi. If he was never spotted, this fake would be even better. But now FaZe just go, okay, they can just take A and we'll play retake again against pistols. Alexi's position is expected by Kierby. And he's not going to jump the gun in going through the murder hole. Because often lying on the other side is murder. And Alexi B looking to dish some of that out. OG do have A. But again, that spawn side setup. Two here. Broke you with the AWP as well. Going to make things very difficult for OG if they want to gain any ground in this post-plant. Olaf. Now, this could be something with a bomb planted for him. If he dies, Issa can stay here and, and, and use his gun to shut down any kind of retake. But will Issa win that fight? Rain's already out into the A site. Issa waiting. And oh boy, he does get it. Labored <laughs> and slow, but it's still going to be his. There's the murder oh, in man. the hole. And this is good for OG with the gun up on Catwalk. Cold never clears above. And Valdin with the tech tags him down. Brokey, good at clutches. But this one, surely one, two, one step too far. MBK deals with him. And and OG get on the board. That's a nice round for OG. That was one of the worrying things, though, about setting up for a retake setup at the A site there, right, is that you give up so much ground when you are forced into a retake uh, and, and you're not moving into it with any kind of advantage. You know, you're the one pressed for time. You don't know where these T's are. And so every angle that you're moving through could be hiding someone from the opposition. And, you know, FaZe, they, they, they don't have the time to be clearing that. They've got to go fast. And unlike when we saw them play that safe, 
same setup in the pistol round. There was no opener for FaZe to keep pressure on OG, to let them move in with, you know, like one exp expendable player who they can just throw at these angles. Suddenly, every kill that goes in favor of OG is arming their opponents, it's delaying this retake, it's costing time. And ultimately, that proves to be their undoing there. Just giving up a little too much of the map, it feels like, right? The fact that you lose both window and uh, and the ladder room as well really does make that retake difficult because only CT was open to phase. Now, a B play on the cards for OG and Olaf and Brokey <laughs> send them packing. Wow. A might have worked, but B is a different story when Olaf is on the case. Back in favor of phase as it's nine on the board. And are we gonna have this now start to tip back in favor in phase oh. or in a big way? Well, if it wasn't already Harry at 9-1, maybe it might, maybe it will. And FaZe are wondering, guys, why didn't we just close Dust 2? Let's just win. And that looks to be the result right now. OG needs something. They need anything in the remainder of this T side. Brokey's getting hyped as well. FaZe probably feeling pretty good right now. Yeah, smile there from Olaf. Almost signifying the ever coveted GG go next. Well, there will be no next, Trace. This is it. Done and dusted. Oh. Map three. That's where you're wrong, Hugo. There's oh. always a next. Oh. Not and this right. next is going to be Rugrats taking on Liquid. Yeah, I don't think FaZe are playing that one. No, you don't say. You, you don't say. Now, Hugo, if we did insert a third team, I do believe this game would turn into chaos and nonsense. Yeah, where would they spawn, I think, is the biggest question. Middle of the map. Okay. Yeah, duh, everybody knows that. <laughs> what are you doing, train? Spawn an E-box. <laughs> Instant bomb plant. What is this, like overpass, but the T's... Yeah, no, they're like a there. neutral team, you know? Yeah, they're, they're trying like... to stop everyone. Oh, okay. They only win by elimination. What like... will they be called? We got the CTs, we got the T's. Um, the UN peacekeepers, I don't know. Oh, hang on a minute. Look at this. So there's no peace being kept at this B side. That's for sure. It's about to be loud once again. OG haven't had the best track record inside of B, but they're giving it another go and hoping for different results. And well, those different uh. results not really coming through, are they? Issa has done a good job to get away with two on the tech. But no more to be found. Leaves it all on Mantu. He's out by the van. Wishes he could just drive away from this whole situation. But it's actually the drive-by from Kirby to reach double digits for FaZe. And man, like the, the resilience from FaZe, you know, like they think about how Dust 2 ends. FaZe had so many opportunities to close this in two yeah. and it gets snatched away from them in double overtime after their best CT half in OT yet, if you remember. Well, now <laughs> they get onto Mirage and there, there were kind of two ways it could go. They were either going to be out for blood, you know, and knowing how close Dust was and how winnable it was, or they were going to be in their heads. And I think it's safe to say that it's the former out of the two of them. Yeah, we were crediting OG for their resilience in, in never going down, never giving up on Dust 2, despite the, the ebbs and flows, the ups and downs of that game. Well, that's flipped on its head. It's it's FaZe now just controlling the narrative. 10 to 1. Will there be any salvation for OG in this T side? Just waiting. It's not like FaZe have been, you know, outplaying themselves, right? No, like, crazy mid-rushes, no early aggression. Even when they've taken Palace, they've often hung around there until the end of the round. Olof has only been pushing B in the mid-round when they see players on that A site. So, yeah, FaZe is not really giving anything to OG. These slow defaults aren't going to net you much. It's being left for OG to execute with a lurk in lower at times. And there's not really a whole lot of positives to talk about for OG. The one round they won was a Tech 9 play out A, starting with a B fake that did work to draw FaZe out of the site. Right now, no fakes and, and no rotates for FaZe. 3 and A and two close ramp as well. This could get brutal. Three smoke, rain waiting. BK trying to look underneath it. We'll see nothing. Rain has a great position. Oh, there's the spam. Oh, the flash hits him now. Now they know. They should know, but Valley's just going to run through blind. He got blinded by his own teammate's flash. Never hearing the click onto Rain, and Brokey clicks back. It's uh, three on three. A conceded for now, but FaZe's retakes have once again been so good. 
And you don't really have anywhere to go if you're OG. Like, you're still just kind of trapped in the site from where you got the bomb down. They're left fighting for their lives. And Mantu, the only man left standing, he's getting wrapped by Brokey, trying to get back to ramp. And he does get to Tetris at least, oh, but Brokey ain't playing so no games. 11 on the board for FaZe. Continuing this utter domination. There is no other word for it right now. And while OG have made a few of these rounds close, for the most part, it's felt like pretty landslide victories for FaZe in a lot of these. Rain as well. I would, I think Rain playing ramp is like the most annoying ramp player that we've got right now. Like the way that he does it every round, just up close, in your face, ahead of the flashbangs that get thrown. Th th oh, that's a hard sentence. <laughs> thrown through into that A-bomb site. They get thrown through thoroughly. Hi, OG. That's impressive, Hugo. Keep it up. <laughs> Proud of you. Thanks, man. Couldn't do it without you. Throwing through thoroughly. Show off. <laughs> FaZe is the one showing off right now. 11 to 1. No care about the safety of their opponent. Oh. All day takes that grenade in stride. He holds his ground and underpass. A little bit of lag there, it seems, on our end, but Cold Zero getting boosted up into a pretty dire corner. Mm. If anyone tries to break that plane, he'll be there. Looks like Olaf will be the first line of defense, but Cold Zero pushing forward. Going to try to get some info out of this. It's middle that's been conceded. OG have the connector currently, and MBK is just getting shot just straight away. He's down to 20 HP. It's rain spamming from the top of Ticket. Oh, nice check, though. There's an advantage. There's a chance. OG playing group, looking to trade. No trades needed with a five on three. FaZe finally on the back foot. It's about time. Flash into the spawn. And there's a bomb plant for Alexi B as well. Mantu's even lurking on the short side. FaZe are setting up to save by the looks of things with two players so deep in the B bomb site. And money being a bit of a problem. So definitely the right call right now for FaZe. But yeah, with hunting players, not going to be easy to get away. Mantu chased down by cold upper. Making a lot of noise running through the lower tunnels. Saw Olaf and B, never knew Cold was deep. And Brokey does get away, darting into the safety of the B-bomb site. Valdi heard him on the rotate, but didn't want to chase, knowing that if he gives away that kill, maybe, just maybe, FaZe consider a retake and a three-on-three, three, but not to be. Two rounds for OG. And, like, I don't even want to try and butter it up and say, oh, a chance at a good half. <laughs> Four rounds ain't a good half. Yeah, right, and even then, like... You know, that, that requires you winning the rest of them, the yeah. remaining rounds. Yeah. And so, you know, a chance at, like, something, I guess, yeah. is the storyline here. If they got all the kills and they broke FaZe's money here, like, maybe, because then FaZe would absolutely force, and then they would be, like, double forcing, assuming they lose. But FaZe get out with guns, and so the buy is actually just fine. No issues about it. So, yeah, there was a chance there for OG. I mean, they get a second round, sure. It's got to start somewhere but it really can't afford to stop. Nice flash. Oh. Traded though, right away. And Issa, the top performer by quite the margin for OG, already out of the round. Kirby trapped down here under Palace, and they are out three ramp, but the flashes keep them at bay for now. Valde going up and over, but Kirby keen for a double. And we're left in a three on three. Now, while this madness has happened, look at Alexa B, look at this little... Sneaky man out through the connector, into jungle, already far deeper than FaZe might be ready for. However, they never once broke the vent, and that there can make all the difference, right? Alexa B can't wrap CT. Instead, he's just holding this position, which, you know, will come in handy in the post plant, which is something at least, but it does limit his options somewhat. Also Wait, means he now knows that they're going to be coming in from behind. And Cold, yeah, you're right. They are waiting for this wrap in through Palace. They waited all round for it. Sorry about the lag. I'm just downloading the preview of that new CS update. So, all right. Yeah. Leak. Look at this. Olaf getting stuck in. Out he goes. But MBK to deal with him. Ooh. They waited all round for that wrap from Cold Zera, and it doesn't get anything done. So with that, it's OG onto three. These A plays working, and working wonders when they do. They're even trying to hunt him. Oh! And this shot means that Brokey falls. That AWP. That would have been the real weapon to keep an eye on in round 15 for FaZe, but it gets removed right at the last second. 
Yeah, nice bait though. Alexi B like it breaks the vent, and even though he realizes and flicks back, misses the shot to Mantu jumping, and you only get one shot against Mantu. Eleven to three, and OG just giving it their all, giving it everything they can, but unfortunately just coming so late in the game, so late in the series. Fast out ram, no fear, no respect, and they do have the results right there in front of them. Kebi, great shot through the smoke blooming, but Cole gets traded. It's a mollied out by his team, not a worry. Bomb plant allowed for OG when they get it to the site. Alexi B could get spammed though, Kierby. How are his ears? Oh, they're good, but he's aiming too high. Alexi B's ducked down and Brokey spammed through the metal. That was scary. Issa does turn it around and this retake is looking pretty difficult for FaZe with no kick currently either. Just Kierby, nice shot, but low on ammo and repeat by Valde. It's OG at four. They find something on the T side, but they are going to need one hell of a comeback to finish off this series. Will it be FaZe finding victory or can OG stand it? test of time you've got to wait and see join us in just a moment Well, it's been rather one-sided here as we go into the second half on this last map of play between FaZe and OG. We're on Mirage, and so far, FaZe has had an answer at every single turn for OG. Now that we're going to flip sides, we're going to see if FaZe can continue this dominance or if OG have something to show for it. It's the Intel Extreme Masters Beijing 2020 Online. We're ready to jump back into it. It's been a pretty good series thus far. It's been delivering. And will that slow down? Well, we're not entirely sure. 
and either are used. So make sure you're watching intently, or otherwise, Hugo's got some choice words for you. Yeah, you better be watching, not just listening. Eyes on the prize. Right now, that prize is the B-bomb site. Phase. No. Going right in. MBK hovering in the air before he departs back with a nade. Wow. It's great and good damage done by Alexi B as well. Phase are in the B-bomb site, but heavy casualties taken and five players here for OG. This is a mess. They smoke him at the car. Ha! They don't even let him fight. They don't even let him get an angle. Brokey will take down Alexi B, but it's a small victory in a sea of losses. OG are all over the site. Cole does eventually get something done and trapped in the bench. They kill MBK. This could be a round after all. How have they turned this on its head? It's a three on five to a three on one. Valdi with five health on a long flank. FaZe have done it. What? That's mental, isn't it? I, I I, don't even know, man. I kept seeing the Glock dinks come in, and I'm thinking, yeah. like, nah, surely not. Surely OG get this back under control. But they don't. And critically as well, there was a short smoke thrown in. That blocked off the line of sight from Valda, who was trying to come in to help out. And that opened up these engagements in the site for the rest of phase. They put 12 up on the board. They win the pistol. And now they are poised to win this series. 12 to 4. And a decision now faces OG, and one that is the nightmare fuel of any IGL out there, right? And that is, do you force by here up against 12? Or do you take an eco knowing that you're probably not going to win it? And then play for rifles up against 13. And that cushion, it's just not there to do so. No, it's really not, right? Especially the, the downside of this, like, full eco and then purchasing up next is that while you do have a buy, it is going to be lacking in some respects, right? You're either going to have to not have kits if you want full utility, or you're going to have to have players lacking utility in favors of bringing kits into the round. And, and just kind of all around, you know, you don't get the AWP either. All around, it is just a very, very rough spot to be in. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> We've all been there. Yeah. But look at this. Five deep on the catwalk. I like this play, but when you buy a flash and you, like, flash from A or even from B and, and push everyone up cat, but, like, with no util, FaZe are just waiting with rifles at the top of middle. And, yeah, OG can be patient. They can wait for FaZe to come to them. But when FaZe get that info, they've got to take the bomb elsewhere. Let's see how this goes, though. OG have had some pretty close pistol rounds. Some Ecos get uncomfortable in this series. They're going to aggro together. There's the spray for rain doubling down. Kiebi with another. And the call is made. It's all five. They win all the fights. It's fine. Couple of casualties. Not a worry for FaZe. Only worry is they don't save the two AKs. They actually uh, only save the MAC-10s and the Galil. But yeah, like 13-4. I'm really looking for negatives at this point. There's not many. So look, here's that buy that we're talking about. And notably, there are no kits in play. So is that something that's going to come back to haunt OG? Surely hope not. Ooh. Alexa B gets spotted throwing that bit of utility and spam within inches of his life. Really lucky to be alive. And that's going to force him into a bit more of a passive hold at this B side of the map. Now, OG want to get something for their troubles. In giving up mid, they want something to show for it. And they do take a bit of ramp aggression, leaving Valder here to hold it close. But Connector hides the true setup to this A hit with everyone inside of it, all with the exception of Cold Zera, who's going to arrive a little bit later out through Palace. They charge down Mantu, and he is good for three before getting wrapped by Kirby. It's left to Brokey in a clutch. But as we've said time and time again, this guy's good in these scenarios. However, MBK with the unexpected lower angle has secured five for OG. Now, it is a long road to this comeback, right? If you even know the smallest thing about numbers, you'll see that five is quite smaller than 13. And uh, as a result, right, it's going to take something pretty monumental here for OG. You just hey. check that, Hugo. Oh, how's it looking? 
No, he's right. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah. Yeah, so there's a big old difference here. I couldn't tell you what the exact round difference is. My mind doesn't work in that wait, way. Wait. Eight. Eight. Okay, right. Yeah. Eight rounds the difference. So that's uh we got you. That's a lot of rounds right there. And every time you do that, you're lagging the server, so be careful, oh, sorry, all right? Sorry, sorry. Guys, can you stop typing in the Twitch chat? My my PC's getting my laptop's getting really hot on my lap, and it's actually burning a hole in my jeans. So well. Oh. You please stop typing. Don't do it, Twitch chat. I got your back. Just like Man 2 found the back of Olaf Meister. I got a nice little boost out of it, but ultimately, this one's going the way of OG thus far. Oh boy. Yeah, this looks like a, uh, a fairly clean round. Five rifles for OG. Smoke back on the ramp, going about their business. I like the Deagle for Kierby. Harry, you're a big fan of that Deagle. I know it. The old print stream. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. the one. There's even a flank in spawn. Don't think it will get to that point, although Brokey does get a pick out. Hey, they've got to go back for the bomb that Mantu now currently is in possession of, although he probably doesn't know it, but they're being above him. Doesn't matter. This is with another Kiebi trade, and now he's going, oh, yeah, the bomb. Ah. Looking for a gun, though, and trying to take more kills within 20 seconds. Doesn't want to die off the time, and so Alexi will grant him that. At least it's going to be six for OG with three up as well. And yeah, now's the time to turn it around if you are on the side of phase. He saved, and now you're going to bring these rifles into this next round. What is the application? What is the answer for what OG's throwing at him right now? Now he's got a fuse box in his room. It needs uh, to be lights out if they want to win this game. That's just his power source. He's hooked into that. Yeah. He is pretty electric at the best of times. Old lamp flash as Faze go through the smoke into A. No one's watching for it. Issa, here's the flash and now calls for support. Good pop flash back in for OG to actually blind Faze out. It's kind of stalled them out of the ramp room. Issa gets one. There's the palace swing. Cold traded after that kill and Valdi goes up at top of the stairs. Not good for more than one though. Oh, Alexi B's trapped in the corner. If they can kill him, there's a chance at a round after all. But FaZe now need to worry about spawn. Oh. Where Mantu's dishing out haircuts. Look Two kills go. off the orb. And OG still with face in this series. Now, speaking of face, speaking of faces, there are several of you in the fan camps, which I've been told by a little birdie that you guys have some special fans there, Harry and Hugo. But like personal, or what does that mean, Trace? Well, we got your mom in the fan cams. Oh, but not really. We do have a bunch of hearts there for you. Goonies oh. number one fan, respect. Someone has to like us. Yeah, certainly not me. I'm tired of hating myself, so I'm glad, <laughs> right? Valdep, aggression into the top of mid. And he's only good for one. Mantu now, ready and waiting. Looking to get stuck in with the AWP. They run boost the man out and over, and Mantu never even saw oh. it. So there is a player out in mid, that's Rain, but with oh. no armor behind the M4, the aim punch just kind of wrecks him, as it should. The nade is good, and that there... Plays this whole round to rest. Eight on the board for OG. And now suddenly, this big old gap that was between mm. these two teams is down to just five rounds. If my memory holds correct. Yes. I could only do addition. Ah. Well, subtraction, Harry, it's just the opposite. Yeah, it's got you there. It's like adding backwards. Adding backwards. If I just think of it like that, then yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure I got this. World's your oyster. 13 to 8. Yeah, this is, it's just worrying against this kind of scoreline for FaZe that they're pretty damn close, but not having a single rifle round to their name certainly bodes well for OG. FaZe still got to get over the hump, get onto the board, and get going now. Nades. Ooh. Oh, no, boosting. Okay, I thought they were going to double nade. Ooh. Second time's a charm. Get it quick. The smoke's fading. Oh, but he's trapped. Oh, dear. It's not what they wanted, but. Do what you got. Resmoke will buy him at least an exit route. Dropping a molly lower as he does. Looking like an A split with Cold in the Palace. And 
to with his eyes on the prize on Con. Smoke is still down, but it will be fading soon, and that will give him the chance to fight from this ticket position. There's a player gone, broke. He's posted. Mantu doesn't care. And wow, what a time to come alive on the AWP. Five on three, many more kills to be had. Ooh. Yeah, FaZe love this A bomb site, but it does not love them back, right? Every single time they've tried to end up here, it's been dominant for OG, and this round is no different oh. to that. Flawless for the OG side. I was going to say, if Cold got out of Palace there with two ramp players and kills Brokey, or, or kills Mantu rather, I'd be mad if I'm Mantu. Like, you got two A anchors. Like, come on, watch Palace. Yeah, there was a chance right there for him to slide out. But they do. They uh, they watch it. They cover it down. And OG keep building for clean rounds as well. Money yeah. is good. And that's that's really, really key, right? I'm glad you bring that up, Hugo, because that that's like your that's how you get back into this game. You don't have many rounds uh, if things do turn against you. And so you can't afford to be like, you know, losing one and down to an eco or down to a four spy or really down to anything other than, than the the best buy you can get, right? Like I'm talking M4s out, kits behind them, full utility, AWP in Mantu's hands. We got a B play for FaZe. I'm happy that they are throwing one of these in nice and early before this feels a little too far gone. And they flood into this B site. Now, MBK with a lot of damage has finally put a kill up yeah. before getting bested. And it's not going to spiral out of control just yet. As the rotations arrive, Brokey is wrapping Alexa B. Does deal with him on the Deagle, but that's where the crossfire comes in between him and Valde. And so OG, they reach 10. Now three between them and FaZe. See, that's a little bit easier of a number. Yeah. Three. It's getting closer. This was eight a minute ago. My oh my, OG are not going down without a fight. And this is where, like, as, as an in-game leader for Cold, in-game leading here for FaZe, he's got some questions to be asked. He's got to come up with solutions to this. And new to the role, not going to be easy to do. A lot, of, uh, a lot of problems here for FaZe now on this T side, but another big buy round with Brokey on the orb. Alexi makes the catch up. Oh my, what a mow down. Valde with a double down below. Alexi's second orping as well. Wild times we live in. Oh! oh. <laughs> Ow, this today, is so Cole. damn quick. FaZe. This is about to be 11 to OG. They're two on five and they didn't see Issa. Oh, what is that timing? Yo, in the night. What is that timing? Yo. That was never meant There's to no happen. There's no kills they on A. No, they don't know that it's Issa. Uh, Rain could just walk in. Rain could just walk in and get the bomb down. Here's the thing, though. Because Issa's flanking Palace, he will make the call like, yeah, okay, I haven't actually cleared ramp. Someone could come out ramp. Uh, so as far as they're aware, this dude's come out ramp. Brokey's running through spawn. He is dead if he makes noise or if he goes palace because don't worry uh brokey palace palace is clear rain, rain can't believe palace. it he's like clearing ramp he's like nah nah this ain't right and now brokey's making noise oh, around no. suddenly that guy that they had in a is no longer a secret they know that it's the oh. ramp play man who's back it looked like it was going to be some cool little timing Ooh. thing but it's not and now it's left to brokey and as good as he's been they don't know about this flanking player how would they they just came from t-spawn they cleared everywhere how is isa here he should never be here and brokey is going to die to him if you're oh, facing so you're fast. so confused you're thinking like he must have been right behind me when i was leaving through t-spot like no i'm sorry <laughs> man he was actually with your guy up in palace oh, oh that's just yeah that's wild that's okay 11 now for og okay okay 11 they needed okay. eight in a row to tie this one back up and they have almost done it it didn't sound achievable but here they are making it look easy Incredible feat for OG. Again, the resilience that we saw on Dust is showing through once more with a near flawless CT side. Yeah, for Olaf, things have slowed down tremendously. Oh, Look what? at that. Cold Zara going to be starting this one off with 53 HP. Man, if, we just, up. if we just stopped counting the rounds when FaZe were up like 13 to 4, <laughs> this would have been a nice, easy victory for them. But now... Stop the count. OG, man, they're pulling it back. They're getting back into it. It's the blue coming back here. Rain bested right away, but Brokey keeping things in a good spot for four, four FaZe, rather. Four on three. And Mansu forced out of CT. Okay, this is a doable round for FaZe, and they're throwing in a window boost. This is great timing. No one's watching. MBK has just bypassed his position, but the break, it's not in. And there's no way you can fake that out either. So they are pretty screwed here. 
Nonetheless, again, the position for the post spawn and a spam through the smoke. Oh, jumping up is Brokey. Oh, he's had a great line. game, but he's on a rifle and the nades come through. Oh boy, the bomb plant delayed and maybe even denied. If Kierby goes for it now, there's so many CTs here to fight back. Olaf has that cross, but it's covered by smoke. And now it's starting to fade as Kierby goes wide. He's oh, caught no. from above. MBK swings out though, and Olaf does trade. It's still doable. They don't know Alexi's inside of the site, but he is looking very deep indeed, cold. Walking up, he could bypass him. This is so weird. And Cole might have them both. They line up, he takes one. Olaf in con, and they know where Mantu is as well. A bomb plant available with 20 seconds. Does he want to fight or does he want to stick it? It will be the latter. 15 as the plant comes in and a chance to back up. Do the dance. Mantu on 10 health with the kit. And Olaf goes back to jungle. Oh, this is wild, man. Mantu still just patient as ever. Moving in through CT, Olaf down in the connector, but this is a pretty favorable fight for the AWP to take. Mantu is also one shot away from death. Both players would be in this head-to-head. -head. Olaf just playing a timing game. Uh -oh. Playing the timings is Olaf Meister. Mantu smoking the bomb, and Olaf now spamming through. Hasn't found anything. Mantu goes over, but there's going to be no time. Oh. Olaf with the 1v1, and phase on to 14. It takes them so long, but finally, they find another round. One step closer to closing this game out. However, OG are now hot on their heels. There's no longer that little... Uh, that, well, I say little, that big old buffer that you had, right? This is this is almost neck and neck. Seven in a row for OG to get to this point. Here's for them hoping it's not all in vain. FaZe cooling out a pause. They want to replicate this success, but they don't really have the money for it. Pretty broke by. And OG still riding high off the back of their seven in a row. Not going to be able to afford for now. This is still a close game. This is still under question, under a microscope. Phase back to back tax. What do you call them, Harry? Back to back tacles? Back to back tacles. That's the one. <laughs> okay. What do you call like two tech timeouts in the same round? Uh. Go on. Oh, God. Something's gone really wrong. <laughs> if there's two in one round, tick, tick, I don't tax. think it needs its own name. But you could surely come up with one. I mean, you're a wordsmith, Harry. Yeah, Harry, here we are putting you on the spot. You're a wizard, Harry. Sadly, Trace, he is just Harry. Yeah, he is just Harry GG. Yeah. Glock. 14 to 11 and phase. This has been a great game, right? Like, this entire series has been so back and forth. Dust 2 went to many a overtime. And this one's definitely got legs on it still. Again, yeah. Liquid's rug, or excuse me, Liquid's. <laughs> Liquid Rugrats after this. Waiting in the sure wings. You don't adjust your dial. The only adjustments going on right now will be what OG can do to rally back. Got plenty of money in the tank. Faking out A, but ooh, double jungle smokes. Miscommunication for FaZe potentially. It's not what you like. They were going up cat nonetheless, and it's not like OG fell for much with no one running out into A. MBK flanks lower. Uh, oh, sorry. No, no, he doesn't. That's someone else. That's Alexi flanking lower, and they don't even know about it. MBK just got a kill. Olaf is trapped, and the AWP is still on B. This is a mess for FaZe. They're going to double back into A that is open for the taking because Valdi's pushed up through Swarm, but he's not overcommitting. He can go back in an instant and be in the right place. Alexi's coming out lower. This has got the info. He's also got the bomb. Five on two for FaZe down and almost out. Alexi is going to kick the door down and shut down the round. 12 for OG and flawless. And now no, yeah, now no money for yeah. FaZe. This is those double jungle smokes that you Oof. talk about. Oof. They really wanted to smoke jungle. <laughs> And that was like a fake as well. Like, no, firstly, no one's really falling for that anyway with no one committing out A, but if you see two jungle smokes, you're, you're making the call, guys. Watch B, watch B. Well, this time they got four smokes, two of them for jungle, one for stairs, one for CT. <laughs> That's how they're <laughs> gonna look to get stuck in here. In go the smokes, there they are, flying in. And this time they fall right. 
Standard A play, Valdet trying to hold from the sandwich is only good for one. Now these pistol rounds can get out of hand. They definitely can. Rain getting close in towards CT. And that bomb looking to go down for Phaser. Four on four. Oh my, he uh, seems very aware, Ooh. but not aware enough. Rain takes his head off. MBK here to trade and keep this even at the very, very least. Kirby with a lengthy flank, and he does have armor behind this M4. If there's a bit more damage done by these players in the site, maybe there's a chance for Kirby. But he, if he is left alone in a 1v3, this becomes damn near impossible. Instead, he gets it done early, and Brokey wins his Deeg fight onto MBK. Mansu is the man thrown into a clutch. This was pistols for FaZe, and they could be about to oh, find no. 15. A missed shot, but he's given a second chance at life. The bomb isn't planted for sure. Oh. Brokey needs to stay alive, and he will. Takes the AWP away. FaZe onto 15. And uh, my word. That bait peak for Brokey just won them the round. If he dies there, if he gets shot on that that one bullet, that's a defuse for Mantu right there. That's a round with Kiebi being so far away. Look at this. Oh, just bait it out. And there's nothing Mantu can do, even if he gets that kill after. It's too little time. He needed it on the first shot. Oh, boy. That's a hell of a, a round to lose for OG. Phase. We're Deagle, nothing <laughs> this more. This game is like no ebbs and flows, oh, man. It's just anyone sense. can yeah. win anything apart from FaZe winning rifle rounds. But if it's Eco, man, they'll bring it to you. They'll bring the heat. Oh dear, this was 13 to five moments ago. And OG pull a huge comeback only to fall to pistols against 15 now. That's you. I just spotted one lower. They just came through. Are you smoking the window? Faze have that mid control. Leaning B, ROG with two in the sight and Alexi up above. Faze is cycling this window smoke, trying to get anything out of this mid control right now. Splitting towards the connector, bomb going back through spawn. Joining up with Cold, who's been waiting in the palace, very passive. We smoke for OG, they, they say, fine, you want mid, you can have it, but you're not getting to our site. Valdi swaps sides after throwing the smoke. Knows the click will be heard. Doesn't want to be cleared. It's a close on the ramp. He has been absolutely phenomenal in this series today. Saving Dust too. the sole reason this game is even going third. And now he's got to put up a fight on this A site again. Here come FaZe with 25 on the clock. Oh, cold, fast in, spots the man in CT, damage to MBK, Valder wins his fight, a ramp. Issa though, bested in the head-to-head, -head. and it's a three on two, OG, they did so well to get this game close, and it would be a shame to see it all be for nothing. Oh, Alexa so B and Mantu left up against it, overwhelming odds, stacked against oh. them, Cold Zera with that kill leaves it all onto one man. And Mantu, he's been alive in so many of these clutches, but this one, this one decides it all for OG. Onto the M4, spots Brokey. Give the illusion that Ooh, he had nice. the M4, swaps back onto the AWP. And now maybe a chance. Cold low, Olaf low oh. as well, but he's just dodged oh, him. No. We'll get the kill. The bomb is applied oh, for Ram. No. Cold's gonna go and he's gonna go now, but he will. Oh. And that's phase taking it. Two to one, they best OG. And it takes them a while on Mirage. A damn good attempt at the comeback from OG. But ultimately, FaZe stand strong and they take this series.